Howdy guys, Jimmy Song here. Uh, I wanted to talk in this video about proof of work. A lot of people seem to think that it is uh, very wasteful and that, you know, why can't we use something else? It's using a lot of electricity. It might be bad for the environment and so on. Um, I want to give you a few uh, reasons why you need proof of work because it is an integral part of Bitcoin. A lot of people think, well, why can't you just take it out? It's kind of like saying, why can't the car run without wheels or uh, without gasoline or something like that? It doesn't really make sense if you look at the technical and economic aspects of Bitcoin. The reason why you need proof of work is because as soon as you switch to something else, then it becomes much easier money. Um, the reason why Bitcoin is valuable is because it is hard money. It is hard to produce. Now, when you have hard money, it gives you certain guarantees about how scarce it is and how difficult it is to produce and so on. Uh, right now, because uh, Bitcoin is at whatever price it happens to be at when you're watching this video, there's a lot of miners that are expending up to that amount in order to produce and secure uh, produce Bitcoin secure the chain and so on now if you took that away right if you changed it to something else proof of stake or proof of space and time or proof of whatever what you end up doing is you are shifting the cost first of all to something else um, you know if you're using proof of stake or something like that then uh, you know the the stakers make all the money and and they 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 have to secure the chain in some other way although they don't they don't actually secure anything right they're they're just using signatures which are infinitely you know they they can produce as many signatures as they want um the the key to proof of work the reason why you need it is so that it is hard money if it is if it if it were easy to do something if they do something else that is easier or takes up less energy or um you know utilizes less resources then a lot more people would be in it and the, the, this is something about hard money that you need to know. It needs to be difficult. If it isn't difficult, then a lot more people get into that money production business. And if there's no mechanism to make it more difficult as more people enter in, then then it just sort of becomes this thing that anyone can produce and, it be, and, and you sort of inflate it and the money becomes worth less and less. That is an integral part of the economic system of Bitcoin. You can't have something like Bitcoin uh, and, you know, utilize something else and still call it sound money because you, you are taking away certain scarcity guarantees. Besides which, proof of work is a solution to the Byzantine generals problem. There, it's, it's the coordination of nodes. There's an objective metric by which they can coordinate. If they don't have that objective metric, if it's subjective, something like, you know, some other thing like proof of stake or whatever, then that coordination becomes a lot more difficult because uh, it's up to that one person, whoever, whoever is staking. Um, and, you know, they have backups and so on or whatever. But that it becomes a centralized thing. And that, that is bad. Once once you centralize it, once it's in somebody else's control, um, then it becomes uh, centralized money. It's worth less than it would be if it were harder more decentralized money that is objective. So um, that's that's a few of the reasons. Uh, you can read Safe Dean's book about uh, you know hard money and why you need it to cost a lot and so on. But I wanted to show uh, you know talk about it a little bit in this video. Anyway, tell me what you think in the comments. This song is done.